right now before i get started customizing my website and making it look as beautiful as i want it to be i want to actually first update all my plugins and every necessary thing that is needed to run because when i first create a website i want everything to be nice and easy to go such that i have all the secure updates ready and good to go so first is i should update my wordpress engine itself so it's important to back up but right now i will not actually do that i'll just click on update because you know it would not opt because i trust wordpress to that extent it takes a couple of moments to finish updating the wordpress engine and it tells me my plugins are up to date so which is nice and good the next step after updating wordpress is to actually install all the needed plugins now for the purpose of creating this website i'll be using a very important plugin which is actually popularly used i'll be using the free version of it it's called elemental elemental lets us you know customize our websites in a nice and easy fashion to our own feel we can add content images pictures videos blog posts uh, external links iframes and all that and that's what i'll be doing now i think wordpress is updated now what i need to go ahead and do first is install all my needed plugins now the template i use also determines the kind of plugins i can need to install that i need to install but right now i will just actually skip all that so i will just ensure that uh i'm using all the recommended plugins so i'll click on view recommended plugins uh auto optimize i think i'll need that so that my website is super super fast so that just installs that plugin for me without me having to do so much copying stuff here and there another one that is important for me is google site kit which helps me add google analytics uh search console adsense and speed into my website good the next bit i would like to install is contact form this lets me collect data from users on my website even though there are better options to contact form in my opinion but for the very basic start that will be good to go so once google kit is, is done installing i will install that contact form then i might want to install an seo tool also after that but contact form comes up next so when you see a website that has a contact page this is one of the plugins they probably used maybe even better ones maybe the pro version of this and all that but this one is one of the most popular plugins that I actually used in wordpress uh i've not activated anyone i'll do that in bulk then elementor my very good friend is right here i will install that that lets me do sort of a drag and drop website creation process which is nice and is and I, I actually love elementor there's been other ones in the past like uh, wp bakery and all that but the elementor just seems easy and nice and good fast to use so i'll install that and then there's another contact form also called uh, contact form by wp forms which is actually also really good uh, i will install that and i'll activate it also and show us the difference between that in common video so let me go ahead and install that also jetpack is also one of the plugins you want to install so this lets you uh back up your website gives you some security updates on your website and alerts you when there's a issue for example if your website is not accessible you get an email alert and all that so uh wait for the bp forms to finish installing and then i install jetpack so installing jetpack now and da, 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 that installing now this is not all the plugins i'll probably use as i go on developing the website i'll think of plugins i might need and then i'll install them as time goes on as i progress and i say oh i need to do this find a plugin that does it if the plugin doesn't exist i might have to write some code which i wouldn't do in this series of course um i think these are good uh let me go over to the plugins page and i want to add some extended plugins so things that i normally would want to do with elementor pro but i don't want to pay for that license so i will click on add new plugin over here 
and then just search for Elementor. So this gives me suggestions of plugins that are related to Elementor. For example, to add uh, some slider stuff, I need to pay Elementor to do that, but I don't want to. So I install the plugins that let me do all that. So I just install all those on headers and footers, really nice also. Uh, I want to install just the ones that are compatible with my versions of WordPress. So I think I will just go ahead and install just this ones and I'll be good to go. Yeah, these are good and that's all of it. Now, I'm done with the plugins I want to install for now. Right now, what I want to do next is actually go ahead and activate these plugins and move over to the next series. No, the next video in the series. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Okay, waiting for these two to finish installing. What happens at the background actually is that it downloads the file, extracts it and push it up to my website through some FTP-ish kind of stuff. I would have done this manually, but it's just easy to do it from the click interface. Right. Okay, all installed now. I'll go over to installed plugins now on my website. And then check the plugins I want to activate. Auto optimize, yes. Contact form, yes. Elementor, yes. Elementor, add and footer. All these ones, I will check the boxes. Hello, Dolly. Maybe, yeah, just to have some bit of fun with myself. Um, all these ones, check, 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 check. And activate. So, this will do a bulk activation operation for me. I can also decide to enable auto updates of this plugin such that if there's a new version of the plugin available, I can install it without having to touch or click anything. So it just updates by itself, which is really nice. So I can go ahead and actually just do that and wrap this video up. Now, because I've installed plugins now, I will have more tools on the left hand pane of my WordPress dashboard which is quite a lot, but we'll talk about that in a little while. I'm now looking for plugins because there are many things now. Right, so I'll go to plugins page. Now, depending on the number of plugins you actually have installed, there might be a lot of junky stuff that pops up in your page, in your face right now. I don't actually like it. Most times I just close them up, but I'll leave them here just for the sake of now. In the future, I would actually get rid of all of it. So check everything. Enable auto updates and apply. So this lets me update this plugin without me having to do so much. Okay. That's it. Activating my plugins. Now, depending on the kind of plugin also, uh, you can decide to set up each of them. Each of them might actually bring some sort of pop-ups here. In the next video, I'll have cleared all these ones up and set it up at the background. Uh, but uh, I think for Jetpack, let me just set that up from the get-go. Okay. Jetpack, I think I like that one. It gives me some sort of stats and nice things I can do on my website. So for this one, one to help la, da, 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 send diagnostics. I think I like it, it's free anyway, so I can allow that. Premiums, close that. Jetpack is done, activating, gives me this nice stats page, but I will want to skip all this for now. All right, then I can go back to my dashboard and see what actions are left for me to perform. Um, what type of website is this? You can now decide what's going on here. You can say it's for business. I, I think I'll just say personal because this is a demo. Or I can dismiss it if I actually don't want to see it. Okay, enable related posts. Yes. Uh, yep. 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 I just like the clean stuff. That's one thing about me. But I think the ones he's suggesting are actually really good. So I think that's about that. Next video coming right up.